Marshall, great to have you on the Warehouse Series today. Marshall, just to introduce you real quick, is the CEO of uh, GFB, which is a awesome, awesome gluten-free line, and a lot of their products are high protein, and I'm sure that you could share a little bit more with us today. And we really love your products so much that we've been working with with your brand for uh, four years, and we've only we've only heard great things from our customers. Awesome. So, Marshall, maybe you could tell us what, what GFB is and then some of the products that you have and, and how it got started. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. I um, really appreciate being part of the of the business with you guys and <clears throat> thanks for all the support over the years. So I'll give you the real quick background on kind of how we got started. So, you know, it's only been about 10 years, um, but, you know, in 2010, I was diagnosed with celiac disease and that was really like the stone age for the gluten-free world. No one knew what gluten was. Um, I remember going on my first sales calls and explaining what gluten was and people were thinking like, what, what is this? You know, why do I, why would I need your product? <clears throat> but really going gluten-free was a life-changing event for me in a really positive way. Um, I, my body I felt different overnight. Um, I really felt uh, just better. Everything about how I lived was better. So I wanted to really create something that would, I could hopefully share with others. And so um, at that time in my life, I was traveling a ton for my job. And um, that made it even more difficult. So I want something, the biggest thing that GFB has always been about, um, certainly what we say is ridiculously tasty and protein packed. So we want something that would keep you going, but you actually look forward to eating. So whether that's, uh, you know, you're on the run in the morning um, or you are, you know, an afternoon snack at home or at the office or whatever, um, you actually like, oh, I can't wait to eat the, my chocolate peanut butter GFB. So that's what, how we really got started. And a big part of all the products we try to bring to market today is something that not only your body feels good about eating, but you actually look forward to it and, and can't wait to eat it. That's awesome. You know, that's so true. I think I remember when the gluten-free aisle in the grocery store became a thing. You yeah. know, it really hasn't been that long. And I think right. you're right. so many people have realized that even if they're not as far along the spectrum as you where they're celiac, gluten still has an effect on them. And for me personally, I, I try to keep it out of my diet. I'm dairy free for sure. It's mm. bad news if I eat dairy, but right. gluten, you know, I'm kind of in the middle, but I definitely do try to steer clear. So that's awesome. And I think, I think knowing that it's from a personal story is, is even better. So let's, let, let's talk about you a little bit more for a second. That's okay. I'd love for our customers to know. So you're the CEO of the company, but I think um, sometimes what people forget, at least for, for myself on, you know, when, when we're short staffed in the warehouse, I have no problem getting down there and packing some of our awesome, uh, awesome gift boxes or picking up the customer service line and talking to people. Yep. And um, sounds like it's similar on your end. So maybe you can tell us what it's like running a food startup and, and how your job, you know, kind of is all over the board. Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, we're not big on titles over here. Um, I am the CEO and my goal is at the end of the day to get this business, you know, everyone here working on the same page, we're going in the same direction to make sure we're keeping our customers happy and our retailer partners happy. But yeah, I look at, I look at this camera right now and it looks like my face is a little red. It's probably because I was, I was in the back literally, um, you know, packing out samples uh, 20 minutes ago. Um, before we got on this call. So, you know, it's, it's, it's really a bunch of everything. I still, you know, I enjoy working with customers. So I do I still do a lot of sales. I love hearing what consumers have to say. Um, and actually, you know, my brother and I started this business and, um, you know, he, uh, he is still on, and we were both on it until about a month ago. Like whenever somebody would email us, text us, um, we saw every single one of those and he still sees it every day. He manages the, we hired a person to kind of help us, you know, be on top of all that customer service and respond as quickly as possible. So yeah, when somebody emails us and says, and I still see them every day, uh, but he does all the hard work. Uh, when somebody says, Hey, I love your product or I really was disappointed. We see that every day. Um, yeah. and so there's, just, there's, there's the CEO piece of it, but most of that is really just working with the team and really in a lot of the details, a lot of the time. That's wonderful. So out of all of those aspects for you, yeah. what's the, what's the, what's, what's your favorite part? Like when you can just kind of go head down and, and work on something, what's, what's your, what's your favorite? Yeah. I mean, I, I love, I always love working on either how to make our current products better or what do our consumers want next? Mm -hmm. So, you know um, you know, hearing what, you know, people's challenges are, 
what they're looking for next. Cause you know, especially, you know, we, we make bars, make bites, we make high protein oatmeal. And the, if you go to a whole foods or a Kroger or wherever, there's a sea of bars. But if you ask somebody if they actually find what they're looking for, a lot of people say they can't find what they want. And I think that's super interesting. And, and for me in my role, I should be, you know, there's always a way to do better and figure out, okay, what is actually missing? There's 800 bars in this bar set at Kroger. You still can't find what you want. And I, I get it because I'm kind of that consumer too. Yeah. Um, so what, what can we do better tomorrow in new products? That's, that's where I love to spend time, just walking through stores and thinking about what we can do better tomorrow. That is, that's awesome. And, you know, I love to hear about how your line has grown too from, because your company is called Gluten-Free Bar, but it sounds like you have oatmeal, power bites, you know, all these different stuff. So that's, that's cool. And when yeah. we're excited uh, for us, it's been great partnering with your team and we're excited to look at some of your new products too and, and show them to all of our customers. And uh, we really appreciate, uh, you know, you just creating a really awesome product. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, no, we, 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 uh, we appreciate it. And uh, yeah, it's been interesting for us over the years to kind of, we came out with the gluten-free bar and back then, uh, we wanted to call it the gluten-free bar. Now we've really evolved to the GFB with a few different product lines and appreciate, you know, the chance to work together for over all these years and, and reach all your customers and hope we can continue more of that down the road with some new products too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we've got an awesome new uh, uh, gluten-free box. We already have some gluten-free boxes, but we're launching another gluten-free box that we're, we'll make sure to to make your team a part of. And um, anybody who's watching this, if you want to try GFB bars, it's in the it's in the boxes below uh, on our website. And um, Marshall, I appreciate your time, man. Have a wonderful day.